The Padres and Heather Myers, by the way, are in Peoria, Arizona, getting ready for the 2023 season. Today is the first day all players report for spring training. Jake Gariani is there live right now. Jake, uh, I'm doing uh, the four for Heather because she's there along with all the rest of the Padres fans. What's going on today? That's right. Everybody has rolled out here to Peoria to start to enjoy this new baseball season. We got a chat with Heather Myers at noon. So it was great to see her and her husband and her kids running around out here. Everyone trying to get autographs because the season is here. It is officially upon us. Now, if you can flash back to 2019, February to be exact, Manny Machado signed a 10 year $300 million contract. At the time, it was the largest free agent contract in North American sports history. And at the time, I think everybody thought it would keep Manny Machado in a Padres uniform for the rest of his career. But in that deal, there was an opt out after five years, which is after this season, the 2023 season. Manny has already said earlier this camp that he will indeed opt out of that contract making him a free agent. The question is, can the Padres re-sign him after that? Today, we got a chat with Manny and a couple other fellas talking about that deal. Business is business, business is business. There's, there's no hard feelings. You know, we're going to go move forward and, um, you know, I'm going to go out there and play baseball, perform, and that's my job and that's my duty. And, um, you know, like I've always said, it's, 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 about, it's about the fans going out there and performing and bringing the championship to the city. From your perspective, how hard is it for these guys to balance making money in a very short career, if you really think about it, and keeping fans happy and people happy? I, I don't think it's, it's that tough. You know, obviously there are some difficult decisions that have to be made at times. Often those will play out publicly in a way that probably isn't best for everybody involved, but that's just the reality of the business. I would never knock anybody for, you know, taking a move to, to get more money and support their family. So. Um, yeah, I would love to have him here. I, I hope he sticks around. I hope we get something worked out. Look, when Manny or anybody else gets into the batter's box or steps across the white line, they're not thinking about their contract. That's just not realistic. He, he wouldn't be able to hit a fastball if he was thinking about his contract uh, when he's in the batter's box. So I don't, I don't think it'll have any impact on the field whatsoever. And the guy deserves it, especially with the money that some of these guys are making now around the league. Um, you know, he's been every, every good, if not better than all those guys. So he deserves, he deserves to get what he's worth. He's one of the absolute best players in baseball. Um, and the Padres are better for having him here. Um, I, I'm just not concerned at all about that kind of thing happening in the background because that's where it'll be in the background. Like I told my agent and I, t I told, told, told the organization, it's, I'm, I'm about going out there and playing baseball and doing what I can show, which is going out there and being the best player I could possibly be and, and uh, you know, try to lead this team again to, to, to another championship and, and even, even further. Now, Marcella and Carlo, I want to make very clear that this really doesn't come as a big surprise that he opted out. This happens often. When you're playing as good as Manny is and they're paying as good as the people in baseball are paying, of course he's going to try and go out and get more money. The question is, when do you have enough money? When does the hometown discount fall into place? Uh, clearly, Manny wants to go get some more money, and that's fine. Look, you have a short career to make that amount of money. The question is, again, can the Padres re-sign him? Can they get him back here? they got some other big fish to pay, right? Juan Soto eventually coming down the pipeline. Shohei Otani is going to be a free agent at some point. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But Manny has made it very clear. Look, it's over with the contract talk right now. Now the focus is 2023. We're here to win baseball games. And as you heard Jesse Agler say there too, it's all about baseball now when they step in between the lines. You know, I don't, I don't feel like many people hold it against him that he would exercise the option. Nobody's arguing that he's not worth more money in this uh, marketplace. But he talked about the fans. I, I just wonder if he realizes how much of a distraction it is for Huge. fans that he started talking about this before the season. Yeah. I don't think anybody would have held it against him if at the end of the season he said, yeah, I'm opting out. I want to see what I'm worth here. But now going Kinda into like the season, it's like, why? Put it out there before the season even got going. Well, I'm sure you both know how leverage works, and it's not a bad thing to have the fans clamoring and talking about wanting to re-sign somebody when it comes to the negotiation table, right? If everybody wants him back, and, and look, the, the front office hears what the fans want. I mean, it's not a bad seed to plant. We'll go out and play baseball now, but, but that seed is out there, and, and Manny knows he's going to get paid, and hey, if you can get a little extra leverage by bringing it up a little bit earlier, so be it. He did, set, he did set a deadline, too, saying he wanted to try and get this deal done before spring training. It came, it went, and now we're here doing baseball. Seems a little calculated, but, you know, let's focus on the season, and uh, that storyline will kind of ebb and flow, I'm guessing. Oh, well, good throughout. luck with that, Marcella. <laughs> Jake Arian in Peoria knows we're going to be talking about this all season. Uh, good to see you, Jake. We'll check in with you again.